timber between the states and Hawaii for many years. and over the years really um, there was quite a lot of uh, illegal salvage activity on the wreck and um, bits and pieces of it were taken off used by locals um, for firewood at times even and ultimately um, one of the things that that, that that has resulted in is that it doesn't look quite the way it did back then. Um, over time it eventually became covered over with sand and um, was done of the wreck and, and, and several measurements were taken and it was it was found that um, when I so when I did a, a 3d uh, reconstruction of the of the wreckage when it was still lying up in front of Dolphin Beach last year um, I found that actually it had reduced in size quite a lot um, both in overall length and in overall width uh, indicating that this dynamic environment in which it finds itself is actually um, causing causing quite a lot of damage. What's really great is when you've got that kind of community spirit around something like this. You've, you've really got your eyes and ears on the ground. Um, you know, people who, although Sara is just around the corner, it's really comforting to know that there are people around who care about this piece of wreckage and who will be reporting any uh, any activities that have the potential to compromise it in future. Um, and there's the one particular individual, Mr. Andre Andre Bart, has been closely involved with this. Um, with this project from the outset and it's, it's really important to him that, that the wreck has moved and that there is interpretation around it and he's also committed to uh, maintaining the, the area so making sure that the grass doesn't grow up and, um, and, that, and, and, and just keeping an eye out for um, vandalism or any other uh, potentially problematic activities that could have a negative impact on the site. Um, and, and you know one of the things really about maritime and underwater cultural heritage is that it appeals to it, it, it's something that's um, that's for the whole of South Africa it's part of our, our, our heritage to enjoy but it's something that tends to appeal only to a very small group of people and the reason for that is because it's so inaccessible um, and the amount of people that are actually have the have the inclination and the ability to dive on these sites uh, is, a, is a very small percentage of the population. So something like taking this wreck out of the water and putting it on the heart actually gives us the potential to to bring this heritage to the rest of the people. It's, it's a site, it's, it's actually a very rare example of, a, of an old wooden wreck that people will now be able to visit without having to be able to dive and, and without having to um, have any special equipment or any special training. Uh, so, so really we're, we're doing this uh, for the wreck, for its environment and also for the enjoyment of uh, all South Africans. 